What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Demos Diecast. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Just like promised, we are going to start ripping into this stuff, getting it opened up, getting it reviewed, taking a look at it, adding it to the collection, getting it in its case, and enjoying it, most importantly. So, as you can see from what's on camera, we're going to go with all of our Hot Wheels that we pulled from the Diecast convention. Uh, so, we've got the Elite 64 Mustang, the R Audi RS7, the Datsun uh, 240 Custom 240Z from the LA convention, and then we're thinking about what we'll, we'll whether or not we'll crack this one. But the Datsun 510 uh, Bluebird, and we also have, of course, the Daniel Arsham 930A. So this will be our grand finale piece. Uh, so let's get it get right into it. Let's not waste any time. So let's get this Elite 64 out of the blister. For the Protecto. Boom. How about that? So, very, very nice. Um, initially, I didn't care for the Elite 64 line, uh, but once the Chaser arrived and I saw a couple friends with it and I saw it in hand, uh, I quickly changed my mind and was definitely a fan of the casting. I uh, thought it was pretty cool what they were doing with this line. So, just like most other things, die cast and Hot Wheels, I was all in. So, let's get this guy opened up. There it is. Custom Mustang. This thing is pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. Um, really, really nice. Super good detail on the Elite 64s. Um good quality parts you know the fact that you've got removable parts and stuff like that is just insane so uh, for a hot wheels i really do enjoy this line um excited to see what else they come out with but let's take a look at our mustang here so as you can see right off the bat you've got that blue flake paint with the I guess pearl in it super super nice uh paint looks really well done um, you've got an exhaust coming out the side here, your door handle, you've got, let's see, what is that, a decal of some sort, your Mustang decal there, you got a wide body uh, built in here, rubber tires of course with real wheels, um, and then also too I like the fact that we're not seeing any regular normal real riders that we would normally see on premiums or RLCs, uh, these have a completely new different line of wheels so that's super dope. Let's take a look at the front here. Um, you got some rods for your splitter that would be to hold that up your holes are cut out for your intakes so that's pretty sick um, yeah that's definitely cut out so that's dope painted headlights not crazy detail on them but nothing too bad take a look at the other side pretty much the same thing uh, again like we were looking at on some of our other premium die cast not going to have a cut out vented hood here but at least you have your slats but like I was mentioning on some, how they do at least paint uh, black in there so that it looks vented. So that's super cool. Um, let's take a look at that interior. It looks kind of crazy. I see a roll cage in there, Halo style race seat. So that's super dope. Um, off camera, I'm seeing something that looks, I don't know, like the transmission or something running through the middle there. Can you guys see that on camera? So right back in here this piece i don't know what this thing is but there's a big large piece running through the center there so that's pretty sick now let's take a look at the rear you got your rear diffuser mustang emblem painted tails nothing crazy on the detail but you know they're painted um looks like we've got some venting for the body work which is open but doesn't go all the way through but that's still dope uh painted black here to look like it's vented uh large rear spoiler on there and the cool feature on this elite 64 is that the engine 
or the I guess engine cover bonnet some people would call it come off comes off um, on the front end so let's pop that off so that comes off and then you have a really really nice detailed engine in there super dope so let's take a look at our engine here you've got turbo there with a filter a turbo here with a filter um, this is going to be your exhaust so your downpipe coming out downpipe into the exhaust the headers that run down off of there intake manifold the only thing i could say since it was an elite 64 and you have basically just a resin engine back here is they could have painted some details on this engine they could have chromed the headers here um, maybe given some color to the filters uh, kept the turbos chrome but maybe put some color on the filters just to kind of differentiate it i think that would have been nice but overall super dope model um, glad to add that one to the collection so we'll put that back there let's take a look at our next one which is going to be the audi rs7 um, this is really really nice car in real life uh, they are super fast if i'm not mistaken it's a twin turbo v8 i knew somebody that had one of these that was crazy fast i'll see if i can find the video and i'll post it in the middle here so you guys can get a get a look at it get this package open real quick boom Audi RS7 right away super super nice um, actually pretty impressed with it the shape of the car the size of the car you know it follows what the real car is um, first glance everything looks pretty cool the only thing I'm not liking at first glance is the wheel there how that's not cut out you see how the light reflects off that back so it kind of looks like a rotor but in reality it's just a solid wheel with no cutouts so that's kind of low in my opinion but let's take a look so we'll look at those wheels first off um, again not cut out so that leaves a little to be desired um, this right here is vent but it's just going to be painted it's not actually going to be an uh, open vent. Um, you got some door handle, door handles here with a little bit of cutout, nothing painted or anything like that. Uh, you got your antenna, your rear antenna for like a GPS or cell phone. Uh, mirrors, mirrors look good. They do have some shiny on the mirrors, so it looks like a real mirror. Uh, we'll keep going around here to the front. Uh, headlights painted or water slide decals <clears throat> not lensed like we saw on the toyota chaser and I'm trying to think if any of the other ones had lensed headlights or tail lights i think the lamborghini might have had tail lights but anyway uh you got an rs7 plate here on the front audi rings front grille other headlight none of this is open but again this is a hot wheels so price point wise you are at the price point of, of a premium die cast, but again, we're talking Hot Wheels, so can't expect too, too much. Um, but nice painted little side skirt here. Um, so all in all, some pretty cool exhaust detail underneath. That's super dope. Uh, you got your downpipes coming off of your turbos into your cats, exhaust, uh, maybe a resonator or something like that splitting out into your mufflers. So that's super dope. Um, casting information if anybody is in need of that. So that's super dope. Um, really like that. Let's take a look at that Mustang, see if there's any exhaust detail. There is not. So this is going to be like a race car. Super flat underneath, front splitter, rear diffuser. So all in all, I'm super happy to add both of these to the collection. Super cool. Uh, rears, taillights, going to be painted again or some sort of water slide. Rear plate, Audi RS7 badge, and then your Audi rings. And then you got your chrome exhaust coming out the back. So super super sick really really dope model not gonna lie um for the price point happy with it let's create our next one out we have the uh, datsun 240z this is the la convention from 2021 um this was held as you can see it by the date here october 6th through 10th 
Um, let's take a look at the back. This one does come numbered. So these were out of, let's see, out of 6,200. This is number 2911. I don't know why it's not focusing well, but we're not too worried. Let's get that out, get her open. Super nice, but let's not waste any time on the packaging. Let's go ahead and take a look at it outside of the package. And there it is. Wow. Crazy nice. Opened and out of the package in hand. This thing is insane. Hells yes. Let's take a zoom there. Oh. Wow, 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 wow. <whistles> Love it. Last one. Love it. Let's take a quick review of it. We've got, of course, that beautiful black gloss paint. There's no flake or pearl or anything in there, just a straight black gloss. Super, super nice. Got your chrome Watanabe style wheels with the orange stripe around the tire. Same for the rear. They're going to be squared, so you got 10 millimeters front and rear. You got the opening hood, always legit. Take a look down there in that engine. You've got your dots in. Um, that hood opens even a little bit more. You got your intake manifold, exhaust manifold. Super, super good detail for this casting. Uh, seats, I can see some orange detail on the seats there, so that's cool. Um, is this, yep, a roll cage. So you got the roll cage that goes through here, here. I'll have to check my other Zs. I don't know if my other RLC Zs have a roll cage in them. Uh, blinker up front, painted headlight. You got the Z logo there on the hood. Super sick. Take a look at that rear. Um, Gretty decal here on the rear. Painted tails. Nice and clean, straight. Uh, last one. So this must have been the finale car maybe um, for that year. I did not go to this convention, obviously, but I'm guessing because it's the last one, this was the finale car. Not positive. Somebody can let me know in the comments if they do know. Nice, uh, really cool exhaust coming out the back here. So that's super dope. It's not going to be opened. It's just painted, but um, super nice detail there. And then you've got your full exhaust coming out underneath with a little bit of a differential painted there on the rear. So all in all, wow. Super happy to add this one um, to my loose case and uh, give it its new home. So really, really dope. Let's get that hood down. Nice closed. Take a look. Closed really nice. You do got your mirrors on there too. Fingerprinted it up. It's all right. This guy's going to get a nice wipe down with ceramic coating. So let's go ahead and set that one back there. Take a look at the Datsun. I'll be honest with you. I'm not into opening it yet. I want to try to find one loose first um, and see if I can acquire a loose one and keep this one carded because I do really like this car. But um, if I do decide to open it in the future, I will put that on an episode for you guys to see and we'll definitely take a close-up look at it. But all in all, Dotson Bluebird, this is from the Real Rider series. Uh, this was number three of four in that series. This one is numbered as well. Um, 7,000 total made. This is 6,090. So... No crazy numbers or anything like that, but not really too worried about it. It's a sticker. It's not attached to the car itself. So go ahead and set that guy back down. And then for the grand finale, we have the Daniel Arsham 930A. Missed this one. This dropped on a Friday, and I had no idea that it was dropping on a Friday and completely missed the drop. So to be able to trade for this one and acquire this, super super happy um yeah i don't have any of the other arsham releases but this one once i saw it in person was a must so let's get this guy out there and wow Jeez. the detail on this thing is absolutely insane um man wow Cray Z. I, I, I'm at a loss for words, and this is the second time I've seen it because I obviously, the guy who um, whose room I got it from had it sitting open like this. Um, but, man, 
let's not waste any more time looking at it in the case let's go ahead and get it out for those that might be wondering that case was surprisingly easy to get off if you've gotten an acrylic recently from hot wheels man some of them are damn near impossible to open man look at the detail crazy this thing is outrageous let's get it off this base and take a look Let's take a look up close. Let's go over the, uh, the details on this one. So, got the nice Kapiri Correct five spoke wheel there. Arsham Studio with the yellow and the orange stripe. Super dope. Arsham Studio written here along the door. Got a few decals. Uh, let's see, it says Arsham. Studio standard issue Safari got a painted door handle there um, I'm not sure what this decal is in reference to uh, Let's take a look got a globe decal there Arsham Studios um, I believe this is his logo there 930A on the plate Porsche printing on the middle of the rear taillight Puri correct Arsham um, There's another I don't know if that actually says anything or if it's just lines. Looks like it might be just lines. Let's take a look at this side. You've got an 8.6, which the year is a 1986 Porsche 930. Um, crazy details. Pretty much the same we saw on the other side. Let's see. I can't really make that one out if anyone else can. Do have mirrors on there. Um, Anchor Editions. Arsham. Painted door handle again. You got your number plate for the race car style car there. Uh, this would be a jack point, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, same thing on this side. This would be a jack point. Uh, let's see. Do have that Hot Wheels Arsham logo underneath on the spoiler, so that's super sick. Uh, vented rear ducktail. Take a look at the front. Fogs outlined and painted. Nice. Got turn signals outlined and painted. Headlights, really, really nice. You can see some different coloring there to give it the uh, illusion of some texture. Porsche logo on the front there. What's that say? Arsham. And another number plate, Arsham Studio. Um, Snarkitecture. So I, I'm not too familiar, to be honest with you, with Daniel Arsham. I saw the car and I love the car. Um, I don't really know too much about him. Take a look at the base. Uh, no real detail or anything under there. You do have your exhaust. Uh, no, these are rear bumpers, so your exhaust is going to come out here. You just have a single exhaust out the side. So, um, man, all in all, this thing is sick. And as dope as that Datsun is, this might be my favorite uh, Hot Wheels haul, at least from the convention. So, super, super happy to add this one to the collection. Let's get this stuff out of the way. Take a look at all of our cars. Boom. So, yeah, man. Um, all in all, super happy to add all of these. Uh, let me know down in the comments what your favorite car was today that we looked at or opened. Um, yeah, man. I honestly thought it was going to be the Z, but after seeing this Arsham up close, crazy. And I'm not disappointed in the, uh, the Elite 64s at all. Those are super, super dope. So... Uh, thanks again, everybody, for tuning in. Um, next video, we'll pull out some of the other cars that are going to be similar to these. We'll do a little review or a little comparison on both of those. Um, take a look at some other ones maybe that, um, you know, you guys are thinking about grabbing or don't have in the collection yet. Make a decision on what you would like to, to add going forward. So thanks again, everybody, for tuning in. Much, much appreciated. And another shout out, if I didn't shout them out enough in the last video, um again super appreciative none of this would happen uh, without the help of um derek at honest diecast and diecast media network so shout out to them again much love 
And thank you guys for tuning in. We will see you on the next video uh, comparing some of these models here with some other ones that we got. So thanks again. Take care, everybody. Have a great one. One love.